Howdy, how's it going? Welcome back, or howdy if you're new. Well, we have something new on the table today. Let's get a little zoom action. There we go. So this, this is the Ambernick RG556 handheld. Now I've seen this across a few other channels and a lot of people have drawn some hype around it. I will say uh, G Shopper did send this over for review. So thank you and huge shout out to G Shopper. And I definitely will be dropping in the links below in the description, special coupon code for you guys. So if you are thinking about picking one of these up, definitely use the coupon code, definitely check the links. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's open it. I'll give you my honest opinions overall. Today, we're just gonna give a full overview of what I think about the feel, the buttons, and everything else that goes along with the device. So let's dive in. Right, so it comes in a nice clean white box. Gonna open this up. And they did send this to me in the color black, but you can get this in a blue color. And the blue color is clear and it looks really cool. But, aha, a nice little foam pad to protect the joysticks and the buttons from shipping damages. I like that, that's a very nice touch. This thing is a lot lighter than I expected. So the joysticks actually feel pretty good. There's not as much travel as I would have liked, but they feel really good. They remind me of Switch joysticks. They might actually be the same as some Switch joysticks. But now you guys know I'm really critical of buttons, so let's give it a button test. Ooh. We have an A plus on the buttons over here for the ABXY. Now you remember, how critical I was of the D-pad on the claw. Can this beat the claw D-pad? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh yes. Okay. A, A minus. It's a tough uh, decision because it is a little rolly. Uh, it is very soft, but yeah, I'd say A minus. It's definitely a little softer than it could be, but you know, that's not bad. Now the other buttons down here at the bottom, good nothing wrong with that our triggers shoulder buttons are good triggers they feel pretty good it's definitely usable i wouldn't have a problem using these they have a lot of spring tension which i really like especially for racing games the grip that's really nice it it, it could be very comfortable for playing for hours on end so on the bottom we have usb c for charging we've got a headphone jack here We've got a memory card slot, which we definitely will be testing and revisiting. We've got another vent up here for cooling. It's very firm. It doesn't have any flex. It doesn't feel, it doesn't really feel cheap at all. So by the way, I don't know if I mentioned price yet or not, but this thing can be had for around 200 bucks, give or take. The price does fluctuate some and it may vary a good bit depending on the coupon code. So definitely check the current price I do think at uh, around 200 bucks spec wise, this thing should be a good pickup. But now let's turn it on and we'll get into the tech specs. So this is the Anbernic RG556. It comes in a couple different versions, including a 128 gig version, 256 gig version. And I think even on this website, they sell a few other variants as well with a memory card that even comes preloaded with some stuff, which I may not mention here, but kind of get the drift now this does have a 5.48 inch amoled screen it is a 1080 by 1920 display it has got a unisonic t820 processor and it is on the 6 nanometer process 5g sog chip octa core cpu and it is a 2.7 gigahertz we also have a quad core molly g57 850 megahertz gpu We've got eight gigs of LP DDR4X memory. For storage, this one has a 128 gigabyte storage limit, but you can put in a SD card and get a one terabyte or 1.5 terabyte or whatever floats your boat. We have a 2.4 and five gigahertz Wi-Fi band. It does have Bluetooth 5.0. Now for the OS, it is Android but you can get pretty much anything out there for emulators on the Android OS. And the Android OS is 
very, very efficient. For battery, we've got a polymer lithium battery that is 5,500 milliamps, and you can get up to about eight hours of battery life. For charging, it does support five volt, two amp charging, and approximately 3.5 hours till it fully charges. We also have built-in Hall joysticks, six axis gyroscope sensors, Hall triggers, a high-speed fan, heat pipe with active heat dissipation. We have NetPlay, it does streaming, it does wireless screen casting, it does have USB-C, and it does support up to a 1080p display output. We also have energy saver settings, joystick light control, brightness control, and much more to talk about. So now that I've had this device for about a week now, I'm gonna go over everything and tell you exactly how I feel about it. And you can be the deciding factor on if you think this is the right device for you or not. Now, overall, I will say it feels very good in the hand. It's kind of small though. If you like smaller handhelds and smaller devices, this definitely is for you. I don't have the smallest hands in the world, but I also don't have the biggest hands in the world. So you can kind of see how it fits my hands. My thumb goes above, if like if I grip it this way, my thumb rests above there. So I have to kind of like cramp it down like so. If I'm holding the ally, for example, here's how my thumb will rest just like that. It's a very natural position for me. So the ally is extremely comfortable. And in comparing to the Legion Go, it's the same. It's just, it's really in a natural position. The Legion Go is up a little bit higher, so I kind of have to rise my thumb up more, but you get, you get the point. So it does sit a little lower. So if you have really small hands, this actually will be a perfect fit for you. If you are used to using smaller handhelds and you have larger hands, then hey, it's a win both ways. The joysticks. Are really nice uh, they are sized appropriately in my opinion I've seen some people say that they wish they were a little bigger but I'll give you an example of why I don't think that they should be bigger the ally is much bigger you've got a lot more range of motion but if you were to put that full-size joystick on here you would probably be off a little bit on the way it feels it just would be too much the d-pad is definitely good it's way better than the claw and it it's on par with the ally and then we've got the modded Legion Go over here. If you wanna see that mod video, go check it out, it's on my channel. But it's kind of similar in, in size to the Ally. The Ally is a little bit more clicky. This is a little bit more, uh, I wouldn't say mushy, but it definitely isn't like hard, it's not firm, but it's not clicky. So it's not annoying or anything. It actually feels quite good. All the other buttons feel really good. I love the clicky shoulder buttons, the triggers, feel pretty good too but overall the buttons the fit and finish are pretty nice the one negative i will have to say are the speakers i am not impressed with the speakers but i'm also a bit of an audiophile and some people it may not bother you at all i think the speakers are a perfectly fine compromise to me now, as far as what you get on the handheld you get a ton of emulators it actually comes pre-installed with all of these that you see on the screen here it's a little hard to pick up, but you have everything from DS to PSP, Dreamcast, PlayStation, and more. Uh, the, the little sleep timer on this thing is, is set too aggressively. Uh, but there is a uh, another point I want to bring up is the battery life. I was very impressed with the battery life. I could play uh, emulators like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, any of those for hours on end. You can get like eight hours plus on this thing. So battery life is definitely really good. I've seen people squeeze a little bit more out of it, but that's being a little um, adventurous if you can squeeze that much out of it. You might need to turn the brightness down and run those lower end emulators to get eight hours, but it's possible. So eight hour battery, really good. It's extremely light. It's a fraction of the size of the Ally and especially the Legion Go. You can download YouTube, you can watch movies on here. It comes preloaded with um, all these emulators, like I said, but there is an option on the G Shopper website where you can buy it with a memory card that comes preloaded with a lot of ROMs. I don't advocate uh, for piracy or anything like that. I don't know what ROMs they are. I won't be covering those here, but you know, it's there if you want it. Uh, but I did legally obtain all the ROMs that I have. 
I did rip all my games. I will not be showing emulator footage on this channel. It's not what I do here. I don't want a copyright strike. So, you know, big, big, uh, big ups for all you guys out there who are brave enough to do it. But yeah, there's that. I, I definitely wanted to notate that really quickly because I'm sure a lot of people are going to give me flack for not showing emulator footage, but I value my channel and the longevity I have here on YouTube. So if you're looking for that, I'm sorry. But you can use Moonlight. You can use tons of game streaming services. You can do Xbox Game Pass. Everything that I have tested on here works extremely well. The Wi-Fi speeds, by the way, are perfectly fine. It, it is definitely not what I expected, and that's in a good way. I saw a video where someone on YouTube had tested their speed test and they were getting around 100 megabytes per second or megabits. It was not good, but it was doable. And I ran my test, the first time I ran it, it was around 150, and I reran it right after it, and then it was at 400. And I was like, oh, okay, well that's what I would normally get anyways on any handheld. So you're not gonna be limited with bandwidth or anything like that. I was able to connect to my Wi-Fi networks just fine. I don't think Wi-Fi should be anybody's concern on this device at all. Now, as far as the capabilities of its emulation potential, you can play, of course, Dreamcast, PlayStation. Uh, you could play some Wii, some, some GameCube. You could play pretty much anything like that. Are you gonna be able to play PS5 games? No. Are you gonna be able to play PS2 games? Some, yes. Um, definitely majority of them, like PS2 and back, any, any system like that, you could be able to play completely fine on here. And then Android games, of course. So feature-wise, spec-wise, for a sub-$200 device, you really can't go wrong with this. The OLED screen, although my camera's not picking it up quite nice, the OLED is really good. The viewing angle is amazing. Like, this has got the best viewing angle on a sub $500 handheld that I've seen. So this is really good for the viewing angle. The only downsides that I'll have to just really mention, and this is more of a, one of them's a skill issue and the other is just a personal issue I have with most devices is the audio, but it's, it's pretty decent for a $200 handheld. And the other issue that I had, which is totally a skill issue in my opinion, is I do not like Android. I am not an Android OS person not my cup of tea. If you like the Android OS, it's definitely for you. There is so much customizability that you can have with this. You can get all your apps through different app stores. You don't have to stay in the Google Play Store. You can get tons of emulators that you just can't get on iOS. Setup is very easy on most of these. I don't know how else to explain it other than I'm a Windows person through and through. I like to play all my Windows games and stuff that literally only works on Windows. So that's why I game on a Windows handheld. I like Steam Decks, they're nice, but you can't play Call of Duty. You just can't, unless you put Windows on it, but then it defeats the purpose of having the Steam Deck all together. If you're gonna put Windows on a Steam Deck and suffer through that, you might as well buy an Ally, get more performance. So there's that. Yeah, I just wanted to mention those two things. The cooling on this is extremely efficient. I was very, very happy with the cooling on it. It definitely seems to me like they thought this out really well. Ambernick really, really does seem to know what they're doing when it comes to these emulator handhelds as far as my first experience with them. It makes me want to go try other Ambernick devices. I've heard mixed opinions about them, but if this is their entry level like device and it's sub 200 bucks and it does all of this, sign me up for another. I'm not just saying that because G-Shopper sent this over for review. I definitely am happy with this. You know, if it was a complete turd, I'd, I'd tell you about it. There's gonna be no turds shoved in anyone's pockets on this channel. If something's no good, you will be able to read me loud and clear. With all that said, I know you guys probably came here for gameplay footage. And again, I'm sorry. I just, I, I like being here on YouTube more than showing emulator footage. I've seen people get their channels taken down recently for showing emulator footage that they've had on their channels for years. It's just not worth the risk. I'm sorry if you came here for emulator content. It's just, I can't do it. I hope that doesn't upset you. But if you know me, you know that I'm giving you the truth. If you respect that and you can honor my 
you know intentions here and that i'm really just trying to look out for this channel and be able to bring you these honest opinions definitely consider subscribing or liking whatever you want to do you know don't hate me for not showing the emulators but i just i can't do it man <laughs> it's just not a good look for your channel right now in 2024 when nintendo and sony are suing everyone in existence all right guys well look i'm gonna head out this video has been filmed like 15 times now i got a new camera i'm struggling with the capture card so bear with me while we update this footage uh we will hopefully have some some better native 4k content coming in the next few days but i am just thrilled with this device for the price point if you want to buy it the link is in the description below i'll try to drop in a coupon code if i can beg them for it and it might actually help you out on some discounts there so if you are looking for a good quality you know sub 200 dollars handheld that emulates all your classic games this is definitely a good option in my opinion very well done ambernick and if you guys have any questions about any of the ally or legion mods any accessories that you want me to check out any mod you want me to help you with you know where the discord is it's always in the description you know where the comments are drop them below let me know what you think and i'll see you guys on the next one so i hope you have a good afternoon good evening or good night